Hey everyone, what's going on? Greg here again from Team Blast. And today I'm going to go over the performance tab in Google My Business and then how you can use it uh, to rank better for your keywords that are driving people to interact with your business. So I clicked on performance, I'm going to change it to October through February, and then I hit apply. Now I'm going to scroll down a little bit over here. I'm going to see the keywords that um, basically show my business within a search result. Now this is really interesting. SEO, obviously 540. Um, I rank pretty well for that in the upstate New York region. Um, but number two is digital marketing. I've actually been getting a few phone calls for people looking for a very generic type of, um, you know, marketing with also SEO. So they say, hey, I found you for digital marketing, which was always kind of surprising to me. So what I did was I put this term into local Falcon. So the term digital marketing. And you can see again, I'm using a 35 mile radius, 11 by 11, and I have a share of local voice of 42.98. So let's just say it's 43%. Now, um, this actually is a term I'm not really even going after. What I mean by that is if you search for the term digital marketing, you see it has uh, comes up on saratoga.com and then it also comes up on uh, TM Blast. It has nowhere it's featured on my Google My Business page. So Google is smart enough to know that SEO is part of digital marketing and also that I list it off on my website, but I don't have anything about it in my description. So a couple of things that I'm gonna to do to help improve my rank over time. Uh, one, I'm gonna to go to the edit profile section here and I'm gonna go right to description and I'm gonna add in something about digital marketing. That's a really easy, quick win, number one. Number two, I always mention this too, you wanna to go to your update section here. You wanna kind of utilize that to your advantage. So what I've always been doing in the past is talk about like share of local voice, how you can rank better, you know, like within Google or even Bing too. I'm gonna to say something a little bit more generic around things like ranking better for SEO and then also use the phrase digital marketing because I can already tell that Google is associating my business, my, my agency that I have around digital marketing even though I don't mention that phrase at all. Let's go back into the uh, report. Actually, one thing I'm gonna do as well is go to this. This is the view competitor report. I do this for all my clients um, and I think this is actually quite interesting to do right now. So you can see here I have eVision digital marketing. They are the number one at 62%. Then you got uh, Manx Marketing, 43%. So if I click on any of this, it's gonna change the map. And you got TM Blast right over here, number three. So what I like to do here is use the competitor tab. So I'm just gonna minimize my screen a little bit so you can actually see what I'm looking at. Let's just compare eVision to TM Blast. So I'm gonna go right here, click on compare businesses. Now I'm looking at a side-by-side -side comparison. Now again, eVision Digital Marketing, the name Digital Marketing is in their header name. I don't think I'm going to be able to compete with that. But I can already tell, though, there's some things that are in my favor that I am doing pretty well in. So reviews, we both have a um, similar amount, similar score, 5.0. And the reviews around 20 something. You can see here that the map is pretty much the same. Um, you can also see that the um, categories are pretty similar. There's some things that I don't do, like I don't do any graphic design or website design, so I'm not going to list that off. But uh, for the most part, though, this is a pretty good way for me to get an idea of kind of who is competing with me uh, for this term. So kind of in summary, I went to my performance tab over here. I went to the searches breakdown at the very bottom. I noticed that digital marketing for me was my second most searched term that would trigger my business. I went to local Falcon. I ran the report, 35 mile radius. I have a share of local voice of 42, we'll just call it 43%. You can see here that the map is basically green. Everything north of, if you're familiar with New York, uh, upstate New York, Clifton Park, everything north of that, it's pretty much what I'm ranking, everything below that, not so much. Um, I'm gonna add the phrase to my description. I'm gonna add it as an update. And I might even play around with uh, maybe even like a Q&A or anything else like that, just to kind of go after this phrase. Again, the term digital marketing for me is not a super valuable term uh, necessarily, but I can tell that it's my second most uh, search term that people find my business for. So it is worth going after. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful or interesting for you guys to think about. Again, if you're thinking of ways to drive more people to your Google My Business account, check out the performance breakdown tab, go to searches breakdown, and then look at the keywords that are ranking. And then from there, you can kind of uh, go through, use Local Falcon and look at a competitor, see what you can add to your own account to rank better. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. And as always, have a good rest of your day.